Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding of Isaac. We are gonna random Samson again. We've been getting Samson so much. Uh, I feel the need, by the way, to kind of clarify some things. Uh, first things first, that episode that went up last uh, was actually an episode that I accidentally streamed, uh, but meant to do a local recording of, and I, it, the numbers got kind of mixed up uh, due to some misnumbering on my part, uh, thinking that one episode had not been recorded when it already had been, and then numbering it like ten episodes later than it should have been. It's amazing how like one error can kind of uh, snowball like that. This is why, you know, when you work in an office or something and you have to keep track of stuff, you have uh, an entire staff kind of double checking, but here it's just me and my lonesome. Apparently, I have difficulty counting to uh, 620. In any case, uh, that run was terrible from a gameplay standpoint. I thought the commentary was kind of good, in my opinion. It's all the speeches about majestic buttholes and, of course, the the nature of comedy itself. I don't mean to get too heady. But I thought it was a, a pretty good episode for that, so that's why I uploaded it. But there's no question that the quality of play um, was definitely under what I've become kind of accustomed to recently. And I'm hoping that I can continue my kind of decent run of form uh, in this episode. Because I have, you know, been kind of hitting above my weight class, in my opinion, uh, with respect to my success on Isaac Runs lately. It seems like it's been borderline impossible for me to finish a run uh, without having killed Blue Baby. Or finish a video without having killed Blue Baby. Sometimes I do, you know, die early on in a run, but then I recover eventually. Uh, as Samson, that's going to be something that's going to be... The, the odds are going to be stacked against me to a certain extent as soon as we get started here. Uh, but over time, hopefully, I uh, will be able to pull that back in there. Oh, I'm going to get hit by that! Oh, the, like the worst damage I possibly could have mustered there. We've been running into a lot of these uh, weird little white chocolate gishes here. Ivory gish, we're going to call it from now on. Almost sounds like a, a dish soap or a, a gish soap, I guess, if we're going to be cute but also terribly unfunny. So we get Book of Belial, and you know what? This is an item that we could see ourselves uh, using as Samson into the end game. It's really nice because it uh, stops and totally solves one of the problems that you often have as Samson, and that problem is how do you get uh, around the fact that you usually have pretty shitty base damage? Eventually, you're going to have decent. You know what? We'll pop Book of Belial in this room. Eventually, you're probably going to have pretty decent damage overall on a given room just due to rage uh, building as you kill enemies. It's not the greatest way to get extra damage, but it works. Um, but what about, uh, you know, the interim period until you actually kill enemies or, God forbid, you're fighting a boss that doesn't spawn enemies or a room that only has one very difficult enemy in it. Then you're kind of boned a little bit. Those are the hardest rooms by far to kind of get around as Samson. So, Book of Belial does solve for that to a certain extent. It's not my favorite item in the game, certainly, and uh, I will be looking to replace it. But if we have to stick with it for the remainder of the game, shit happens, right? We, we can make it work. There's worse spacebar items to be saddled with uh, as Samson. There's no question about it. So, I would rather have a more interesting item, but this is the position that we're in. So, uh, we're going to make good use of it. I thought for sure I was going to get hit there. Uh, this is kind of a difficult room to get around in. But as long as you are constantly moving and moving relatively quickly, shouldn't be that difficult to at least kill the enemies. The problem is like, ah, yeah, exactly that. Like not standing in one position for too much time. Normally this would be a little bit easier. Uh, well, it depends what character you are, I guess. Okay, so that's reassuring that we did manage to get a second key there. That key will come in great use when we find our item room. Uh, and we could go to the shop as well if we wanted, but I'll probably use that to open that golden chest back there Because I'm gonna go for broke on this floor uh, Really try to get as many upgrades as possible One of the reasons is and you might be wondering this is one of the rare situations where I'm not going to the boss room right away That's because I want to see what we get in our second item room because there is the potential for a deal with the devil after our second boss room so if I uh, beat the boss and get a deal with the devil, I don't want to necessarily lose all of my red hearts to make it happen. If we already, let's say we get a really awesome opportunity to take a too hard deal with the devil, but I only have one HP upgrade, uh, or I only have my existing HP, which is only one, uh, then I can't take it. So I might as well at least try. It's fairly unlikely that we'll get an HP upgrade by way of the uh, item room. It's not necessarily impossible, and it's, you know, pr fairly likely we get an HP upgrade from one of the bosses that we'd fight anyway. But I think it's worth being a little bit more uh, proactive here. And uh, taking our time and really trying to make this work for us. So there is a tinted rock that we can blow up. I wish that tinted rock showed up on your map if you hadn't blown them up. Because I could then remember what room that was in. Perhaps prevent myself from accidentally skipping it. Alright, so with three keys I will absolutely... Ooh, the shears. I think Book of Belial is better. Uh, it's unfortunate. This is like the worst situation. You have a half-decent uh, spacebar item that shows up. And it might as well be fucking Lemon Mishap or something. Because we can't get any value out of it. 
Uh, we will open our golden chest back here and see if we get anything out of that. Don't get me wrong, I think the shears is a great item. It allows us to fly, but that is secondary to the kind of obscene amount of damage that the familiar that it causes uh, would give us. Now that we have 10 cents, it's definitely worth uh, going to the shop, I think. If we, especially if we can get to a secret room, which is not here. And there are just enough possible locations to completely fuck me here. Uh, I'm really hoping that it's not the room that's right next to that boss room. It's got to be this one. Oh, god damn it. Okay. We'll save this key then. I could possibly use the key, go into the shop, buy a bomb, bomb into the secret room, and then in the secret room find enough money to compensate for the bomb that I bought and still be able to buy a 15 cent spacebar item, or 15 cent item in general. We can't even open up this tainted rock now. Uh, but it's pretty unlikely, so I think it's in our best interest to just go fight the boss right now. It's going to be a regular version of Larry Jr. Uh, sure, this is fine. Fairly easy boss fight, of course, and uh, it does give us the potential to snag whatever we could possibly, whatever our heart could desire, except for uh, a deal with the devil item, because we're not fighting the fallen, obviously. And what do I desire from this fight? I guess an HP upgrade would be nice, uh, as Samson, that is one of the principal concerns. It's either that or a damage upgrade, but I don't want to get my hopes up, because a, a damage upgrade is probably pretty unlikely, uh, unless we get the pentagram, which does happen, but it's rare. You know, Squeezy's solid as well. We'll take our, uh, I'm not sure if it's a shot speed upgrade or it looks like a genuine tears upgrade. And we'll take the two spirit hearts as well. And then this is good. So we are going to get some way to kind of boost our damage. We are not going to get an HP upgrade though. So this could be an interesting deal with the devil. I do believe that it's fairly plausible for me to earn one here. Uh, I, I could easily see myself beating Steven and little Steven without actually taking damage. Obviously, my damage in and of itself is not that good because uh, I'm, I have no way to build up rage. But these guys have a very set pattern. They're, they're pretty easy to fight. The only thing that gets me sometimes is uh, the kind of like explosion of, of shots that happens when one of them dies. So we're just going to try to keep them distant from one another whenever possible. If we can hide out behind some rocks, if they're getting close to death, that's good news. Oh, I hit him right into me. That's the other thing that can happen. He's kind of got that same uh, shitty mechanic as Lust where you can quite easily like hit him and then the knockback will just cause you to take damage yourself. But we'll just keep him juggled in equilibrium here and life should be good, LG. Digitally fucked. Okay, we do get little Steven. The lesser of the upgrades, I would say, but also a deal with the devil. And the deal with the devil has a quarter as well as brimstone. I mean, obviously, we can't take brimstone really in this situation. Quarter would be interesting, but I think I'm just going to play it safe and we'll leave instead. And the reason I say play it safe is because there was a run, I think it was actually the accidentally streamed run, uh, where I took a deal with the devil that, oh, that was really terrible, that dropped me down to zero hearts, uh, but I still had spirit hearts, and then I got like an eternal heart, but the eternal heart didn't actually give me another heart container, it merely gave me another spirit heart. So you can, like, with some deals with the devil, accidentally turn yourself into blue baby, which is not what I want here. I'm, I'm content being Samson uh, with this amount of health. Obviously, I would love to get some more, but if that's not in the cards for us right now, that's totally fine. We can still make this work for us. Uh, until it, it starts to be viable. Now, we don't have great items. We don't have uh, great attributes. But we do have the potential to get them uh, if we uh, perform a little bit better. So this is probably not the most Book of Belial worthy room. But I figured, why not use it? Uh, make sure that we don't end up dealing with an insurmountable number of spiders. More keys is always nice. I would love to get more bombs as well. So we could actually probably go to that shop. Picking up something like the Blue Candle. One of the few items that uh, at least immediately would be more valuable than the Book of Belial. We'll go to our mob trap room just because, uh, yeah, there's a, any number of possibly great upgrades here. That was uh, beautiful for us to be able to get over 15 cents. So now we can go to the shop. Uh, we don't have to worry about the secret room necessarily. Uh, although I would still love to go to the secret room because it could A, potentially contain an item, but also B, uh, potentially give us enough money to go to the shop on the next floor, even if we end up spending 15 cents on this floor. So you never know. It's always a good idea to go there if you can. Obviously, we've got kind of our work cut out for us because we have... Uh, not an XL floor, but uh, a, a dark floor, so I can't really see where I'm going or where the secret... It, it makes it harder to conceptualize where the secret room would be. That's okay, though. Why don't we come through here and, uh... Yes, sure, we'll buy the map. It's not the greatest upgrade in the game, but I do like getting it because it will allow us to find secret rooms easily. Should pay for itself relatively quickly. I am using my Book of Belial here. Probably should have saved it for the boss room, but it's fairly plausible that this room could actually be more difficult than the boss room. It's fairly plausible that I could be terribly wrong as well, but, you know, obviously if we end up running up against a, pe a pestilence or something like that, I'm going to be happy with my decision. 
Uh, let's destroy this guy. And actually, why don't we do a little bit more backtracking, or at least looking around before we go to that boss room? A, to get Book of Belial charged up again, but B, to get some more vision of what's going on on this level. And uh, C, possibly get to the item room, and maybe that item room will give us something that is uh, amazing against our boss that we're about to fight. We'll see, though. Hopefully, it's just a, a passive item or an amazing spacebar item. Two of clubs doubles our bombs. All right, it's Mr. Boom. So now we can really use two of clubs uh, and get some serious value out of it. What's our other card? I totally forgot. The Hanged Man. Um, we can use Hanged Man to get that chest, and then we can keep two of clubs with us. We'll see, though. We're just going to finish off this floor. I don't know if it's worth looking for the secret room on this floor, just because I'm going to waste a lot of bombs trying to find it. We will take this. Uh, you don't have too much to lose, as Samson. Balls of steel. That's awesome. I'm glad we took it. So... Actually, you know what? Let's use two of clubs right away, double our bombs, and then we'll stick with the Hanged Man. This is not the best use of the card. I'm just trying to take a look and see what the right course of action for a secret room could potentially be here, I think. We'll see. No. Okay. Let's save the rest. Then we'll use Hanged Man right here, and we'll get another key and some money out of it, and I'm okay with that. We could buy more bombs if we wanted to, but I'm just going to save my money, as one might expect. And let's go through on our boss fight here and see what we get. So, it's one of the easiest bosses that we could fight here. And that is good news for me. So, I could uh, drop down a bomb of my own, and probably in a bomb or two we could win this fight. Uh, but since this thing creates its own bombs, I think it's in my best interest uh, with the amount of damage that I'm doing to just kind of hang out. And uh, this should be really easy for us to, to sort out without too much trouble at all. Hopefully, HP upgrade, another deal with the devil for a very, very high damage item. That is, of course, a perfect world scenario. If that doesn't come up, there's still uh, many courses of action that we can take that could potentially swing this for us. So, uh, Pageant Boy, terrible. Terrible item for us to get in this situation, although it does open up, you know, maybe the shop on the next floor again, and we'll get a great item as a result of that. Um, it's a weird one. I am going to take the pact. Okay, that's what I was concerned about. I, I will never fucking learn uh, that when you do that, you lose all of your existing spirit hearts in addition to your HP. That doesn't mean that we're sunk at any, by any stretch of the imagination uh, with this. We actually, you know... Even knowing now what I didn't know then, okay, now I'm feeling very concerned. Um, but I, I still might have gone through with this just because it does give me uh, some serious damage potential, which I kind of lack as Samson. Now, it might look like this run is done, but I, I disagree, especially if we can survive until the Polaroid uh, actually comes into the picture, then we, we've got some very good chances to actually make this run work. And, you know, sometimes you gotta, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. In fact, that's kind of the point of making an omelet sometimes. Uh, we're gonna take the sack of pennies. We are, I'll admit, getting to the point where we can't get too many more shitty item rooms, or I'm, uh, gonna start to be very concerned, <laughs> would be one way to put it. Uh, the fact that we've got a tinted rock here is glorious. Oh, that was scary. Um... And we'll be able to blow that up and get the small rock, which is what I was hoping for, in addition to a little bit of extra HP. We will fight our boss straight away since we're here, and of course I want an HP upgrade, but now I am concerned that maybe I've accidentally made myself into Blue Baby and an HP upgrade won't even register. Uh, I'm very lucky in that we have been fighting probably the easiest bosses that you can fight on the Catacombs. Uh, certainly I would be more skeptical than average about my chances for success here, but that is not to say that we're necessarily sunk. Uh, permanent Polaroid Invincibility is a very powerful weapon. We do have the potential for items like uh, for Babylon now, which would make things very interesting. That, oh, I still took some damage, but that was pretty excellent uh, otherwise, except for the fact that I got a range upgrade at the end. And, you know, you can shit talk my play in this episode, especially that decision to take the pact is going to be divisive, I'm sure, and probably less divisive than I think, because more people are probably going to be against it than for it. But also keep in mind that, you know, I'm to a certain extent at the whim of the uh, random number generator in the game, and the random number generator has decreed that this is a run where we will be doing it without getting any HP upgrades, a challenge run uh, in, what are you, in vivo, if you will. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since I was inside of a classroom. So, I'm hoping that we can snag some HP upgrades at some point, but this is, um, you know, it, it's a tough run, uh, even if we hadn't made that decision to take the pact. Uh, this would be a very difficult run. We don't have that many upgrades working in our favor as of yet, uh, beyond damage, and I'm, I'm very thankful to have the damage that we do, of course, but, uh, it would be nice to have a little bit of peace of mind via HP as well, especially if we could snag a guppy's paw at some point. But, you know, I, I'm not rushing through these floors, I'm, I'm taking my time, and... I'm, I'm hoping that this means that uh, I'll be able to get some good upgrades and pull this one around. Let's see what this pill does. Teleported us to the secret room, which we've already been to. We got some money in there. Uh, I'm looking for the shop, obviously, because with 27 cents, we could buy whatever they have. If they have a compass, that's beautiful. 
if they have a book of revelations it might not be the best choice but sadly i don't really have a, a choice in the matter mostly i guess if, if I, I was being asked honestly i'm mostly concerned about survival so uh a, a book of revelations would be best i suppose we have a boss trap room as well there could be an hp upgrade in there the speed upgrade this is fucking crazy normally the HP upgrades show up. Oh, we don't have any keys. Are you kidding me? Uh, normally, HP upgrades show up kind of fast and furious, but not this time. So we're going to do this. We may or may not. Is that going to spawn both bosses at once? It fucking did because I used Book of Belial. Ugh. Again, that's something that I guess is technically within the bounds of my control. And as such, I, it's my mistake. But still, it's always frustrating when that happens because it's, like, not a mechanics thing in the game. It's just, uh... It breaking a little bit. That's fine though. We're fighting easy bosses and we're doing a lot of damage, so we, we were able to tear that up pretty quickly. Uh, what we're gonna do after this now is go to the arcade and play the shit out of these slot machines in the hopes of winning some keys. Because obviously, without being able to go to the shop, there's no point in having all this money. So yeah, we don't we don't really have much in the way of of options here. It's an interesting run. Um, it's very unfortunate that we have a fortune teller. Uh, you know, it's it's fortunate and unfortunate that we have a fortune teller here. We could potentially get an awesome trinket. It does pay out in spirit hearts, which are obviously crazy valuable to me at this point. As you can see, now I'm not so salty about it. But um, it also does not pay out with keys. But it could pay out with tarot cards that give us keys. So uh, I I'm okay with this. We're going to keep playing this until we get a key, at the very least. More than one key would be amazing. Uh, we, oh, this is so beautiful, actually. This fortune teller might end up saving our lives. Now, we should probably blow up the blood bank, is my guess. Uh, but maybe we should wait until we see if we got, like, a better trinket that comes up. Like, if we get the Polaroid, I could actually play that blood bank a little bit, uh, if necessary. But for now, uh, Samson's Lock, I, I'm okay with sticking with Eve's bird foot for now. I don't know if that's a terrible decision. The stars, that takes us to the item room. So we should save that for the next floor because that could potentially save us uh, a key, which is important, obviously, as you can see. We are down to 15 cents now. Uh, I am going to explode the blood bank. Usually just gives us red hearts, but, you know, gave us a penny as well. I would really like the three-headed man to, to pay out here. That's the hanged man. I don't know if there was any situation where that was useful. Uh, for us on this floor. Oh, there's a troll bomb that's gonna blow up nothing at all, which may actually be good for us. We can always blow up these guys if they don't give us anything else. Lots of red hearts here that I can't use. The tarot card is the world. Um, still think the stars card is probably the best. We'll just keep this up. We are, like, staggeringly low on cash now. Uh, and with seven cents left, I don't know what we do here. I mean, I guess we keep playing just in the hopes of getting more spirit hearts. Oh, that's not good. Uh, so we might get down to zero cents. So so much for picking up Pageant Boy. Didn't really turn out that well for us. Eve's Bird Foot probably trumps the uh, Goat Hoof as well. The World card does not show us the location of the second secret room. We got one more cent. We should use it on the Three-Headed Man uh, so that we could possibly get a key out of it. This would be a nice turnaround, although I don't have the money to spend on it now. There we go. So we got keys, but no money to finish that off. So we'll drop a bomb in here. That's uh, another scent, and we'll drop a bomb in here. Uh, lucky Toe. That would have been useful at the start. All right, so we can't go to the shop on the... I mean, we can, but we shouldn't go to the shop on this floor. Uh, but instead, we do have keys that we can use to get to the shop on the next floor, assuming we get enough money. Weird situation. The big thing there is that we, like, tripled our health by way of that fortune teller, which was exceptionally useful. and might let us live long enough to make something good happen. So I think first things first, we go to this secret room, and then we use the stars card. Which I believe takes us to the item room, not the secret room. If it takes us to the secret room, then I'm an idiot and I just wasted a bomb. But that's not the end of the world. There we go. We got the bean. Uh, at least I didn't waste a key to go in there. That would have been disappointing. Bean's not a terrible item, all things considered. Uh, but the Book of Belial is a much, much better one. In my opinion. And of course, I have to point out, and, and Lampshade... That we are consistently getting the harder versions of the floors as well. Now, this is not to say that I'm overly complaining and the game is not doing us any favors. Because by way of that fortune teller, it actually did us quite a lot of favors. Is there any way to, like, get through here without using more bombs than I... Yeah... Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll just take the bomb that we got there and leave. Um, yeah, the game, especially by way of that last fortune teller, has done me some certain favors. That being said, uh, I am also kind of in a shitty situation. <laughs> oh, that almost got me. Uh, I'm kind of in a shitty situation. We've gotten the difficult floors. I have not gotten a single HP upgrade over the entirety of the game, and I'm playing as Samson, not Maggie or Isaac. That can possibly, you know, make that work. 
Uh, I'm doing good damage. That is uh, one of the best things that we have going for us here. But unless I pick up something like the wafer or some HP, we're going to be in for an interesting ride once we get down to the womb and beyond. So the fool card is potentially useful if I can save that for after the mom fight. Now, I just want to get this guy to kind of swing into uh, these blue spikes if possible, and then we'll ignore them forever. We're fast enough, barely, to get out of there. I do realize that uh, Book of Belial is charged. In fact, this is probably an ideal room to use it on. Even if we end up coming across a boss fight next, not the end of the world. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to get through this room and probably save me from taking some dumb damage. So there's our shop. That's good. We are going to go there. Uh, with seven cents, I don't hold out a lot of hope that we'll be able to buy something, but it is a, a theoretical possibility. Best course of action, or best outcome for us might be if we end up, uh, fighting greed, actually. And if we fight greed, then we'll get enough money to go to the shop on the next floor for sure. Instead, we're just gonna have a coin person here. And that's a scary proposition. I don't have the money for it. If I get the money for it, will I stick with it? Mm, good question. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it could contain some awesome upgrades, tiers and HP upgrades in particular would be uh, of the utmost importance for me right now. Apologize, coffee maker. I meant to say apologies, but then I thought I would just go with it. Uh, so we'll chop that guy up. And we're picking up a fuck ton of keys now. Where were you on the last floor, random number generator? And, you know, this is one of the... If I'm kind of appraising this run on a traditional Northern Lion scale. We're missing a lot of items that I would normally consider fairly important to have a good run. We do not have the ability to fly, we do not have a lot of HP, we have Spirit Hearts only, which is good, but we don't have Horror of Babylon, and we have no way to replenish our Spirit Hearts once they run out, unless we get a, a Relic or a Mitre or a Book of Revelations or a Nail at some point. That is not going to change. But, um... We do have the most important upgrade in the game, in my opinion, and that's damage, basically. We're, we're not doing more damage than I've ever done, but we're doing enough damage that I'm, I'm confident that we could possibly make the rest of this run work for us, or the, the rest of this game work for us, if necessary. Uh, but I really can't afford to take any damage at all, and that's the sore spot here. We also have the map, but we don't have the compass to kind of synergize with it, which is not the end of the world, but... Uh, it does mean that, uh, th you know, th the map without the compass, it only saves us a few rooms, usually. Which is, uh, not necessarily the most important thing. So I'm just gonna throw some shots in here, basically, because I can't do anything unless... Oh, I got so lucky there. I can't do anything unless I can get behind this guy, because even if I go beside him, he can shoot at me. I guess we could kind of... Yeah, that was stupid of me. We could kind of monstro to him and, like, go beside him and then behind him. Did I seriously walk over the creep there? I mean, bloat is no joke. Finally, we get a fucking HP upgrade. We'll take that, and we'll probably trade it in immediately for a mom's knife or something. Oh, yeah, I'm blue baby, so I can't even get, uh... Uh, sure. Let's do it. Why not, right? Um... I don't know if this is this decision has just killed us, but it is also probably the only way I could see myself actually coming through with a victory in this game as well. So, we'll probably die on, like, the next room, but... Oh, you know what we should do? We should go get the coin purse and see if we get some balls of steel pills. Um, that might strike you as a stupid decision, but it is really the only way I could... It's kind of like a shooting for the fences maneuver. Come on, just blue spike. Don't be a dickhole. There we go. Um, and what I mean, they're swinging for the fences, I should say. By getting Mom's Knife, that grossly increases our killing potential. Are these two balls of steel pills? No, is it one balls of steel pills? It's telepills and... Okay, HP up. Bad gas. Puberty and telepills. I was really hoping that would be the I am error room. Um, so yeah, I've, I've grossly improved my damage by basically catastrophically decreasing our health. But did you really see me, especially once we had that realization that the uh, HP didn't actually work for us because we permanently fucked ourselves out of getting uh, red heart upgrades, as you saw right there. I mean, I guess we'll go with Curve Torn, because if we get hit, we die anyway, so Eve's Birdfoot, maybe not that useful. Um, I think that's how Eve's Birdfoot works anyway. But, um, basically, it was like, I, I think we have to go, we'll, we'll do this, and then we'll bank on getting a Spirit Heart at some point, coasting on that for as long as is humanly possible. Oop, that was really close to me dying. I fully expect, yeah, 
I was just going to say, I fully expect to die. And I apologize for making some bad kind of logical decisions over the course of this, but I did kind of get screwed with the RNG as well, but mostly I'll, I'll take full ownership for responsibility on that run. As always, uh, well, that's going to do it for that run of form, apparently, but as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please consider clicking the like button. It does help me out a lot. And uh, comment, let me know what you liked or did not like about the video or my play. Obviously, I made some pretty significant tactical and strategic mistakes here. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more Daily Isaac. There is a link in the video description below that you can click to sort that self or sort that out for you right away. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode in spite or perhaps in uh, thanks or as a result of my incompetence. And again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.